three, two, one. And there's going to be a lot of upset Arsenal fans with their favourite players in the next 12 to 18 months because some of these players will be sold. Granit Xhaka probably will not be here, but in the next 18 months. Mm. So it wouldn't surprise me if we, we were buying this Caicedo if we do get him as a replacement for Xhaka, not for party. Because I, I think they'd complement each other pretty well. They've both got different attributes. And, and I think um, I think Caicedo and him together would be decent, man. But listen, Granit Xhaka has been great this season. You know, I can't knock him, but if you want to be ruthless and you want to win titles on a regular basis, you have to make tough decisions. And if that means you've convinced Granit Xhaka to stay at the football club, you've got a great season out of him, you've won the league, or at least competed for it, now he's gone. Sorry, mate. See you later. That's it. Football don't stand still. No, you're you're 100% right, bro. But... I don't no, know, but could be in jail. yeah, you're right. Yeah, the, 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 the streets are saying that that prison FC of putting a, a an 80 million bid for a Thomas Party, bro. Uh, well, Danny Alves is gone, isn't he? So it's bro, mad, bro. That's what they're He's saying. They're saying, bro, they're saying prison FC got the duffel bag out, bro, and they're paying the cash up front, bro. That's right, they're that's moving like Chelsea, bro. <laughs> bro, listen, bro. No, I mean, I've heard. I've heard they've got some serious backing, bro. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, no just, instalment, yeah. man. I'm telling you, so it might uh, happen, we're now, bro. Well, now Mendy bus case, bro. There's space on the team. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> bro, there you go, innit? Well, this is what I'm trying to say, bro. They're looking for a replacement. So, I uh, no, it could be him, fam. Could be him. Do you know what I mean? Mm. My man's saying 45 million for Gordon. We're getting 60 for a meal. No, but Gordon plays every week, bro. And yeah, do you know yeah, what I'm Smith saying? That's the fit. difference. Mitch Swift Rose never fit. You have to say that Gordon's done more in the last 12 months than Smith Rowe, bro, like in the Premier League when you're looking at it. So even though he is a better player than Gordon, I don't doubt that. He's not going for more money than him. Yeah, facts. Yeah, facts. That's bro. not how football works. Yes, facts. I'm looking at Smith Rowe's fitness um, injury record, yeah? Bro, he's always injured. It's mad. Right, mm. This guy has in the last... Four years, but well, it's three and a half years. He's had a bruised rib that kept him out for seven days. Then he had a mm. groin strain, kept him out for 91 days. Then he had a hamstring. A groin injury. strain for three months? Yeah. Then he came back from that. Yeah. And literally two months later, was out for another 91 days with a hamstring injury. So he was out for six months of that 18, 19 season. Missed 24 games in total, 182 days he missed. So that's half a, half a whole year. <laughs> with a groin strain and a, and a hamstring. Then he came back from that and one week later was out for another 21 days with abductor problems. Then the following season, we started the season, he was out for 11 days with a groin injury. Then he came back from that one month later, out with a head injury for two weeks. Come back from that and stayed fit. After that, the following season, 2021, he was out for 46 days with a shoulder injury. Yeah, and now he's been out, it says 63 days. It's longer than that. Um, 63 days with a groin surgery. But he was out before that. He was out what? before that. Then he had the groin surgery. And I think that's the update from when he had the surgery. But yeah, it's mad. The man, and bro, he's only young. Look how many days of football he's missed. He's missed about 300, 400 days of football, which totals, what, 22... Bro, that's what I'm saying, bro. Uh, Listen, yeah, groin strains don't put you out for three months. I don't bro, he's care. he's missed over 50 games of football. 50, yeah. 50 games of football he's missed with all them injuries. That's over a season. That's a season and a half. Yeah. <laughs> so that's I'm what I'm trying to say. And at this age as well, when you're in the crucial phase of your career where you need to you need to nail down a position, it's mm. crazy, bro. Oh, like, he's 22, yeah? He's 23 in July. He's 22 and he's missed a year and a half of football. That's actually mad. And yeah, how long and has he been in the Arsenal um, first team? Since... 2018, I think. Is it 18? No, I'm lying. No, I'm lying. Some of these injuries were while he was at Leipzig. So since he's actually been in Arsenal's team, he's missed 22, 24, 26. Yeah, but 26 how long has he been in Arsenal's team, though? Like, how many years has he been in the first team? Only two, in innit? A couple of years. Mm. Two, three years max? Three max, yeah. Yeah, that's a joke. That's crazy, bro. And he's missed all them games. But that's what I'm saying. So 20, if he's only been in the first season, he played 20 games. Last yeah, season, so, yeah. 33. Yeah, so two, three years. Year. Two, three years, and he's missing all this football, bro. Like, And the first two, three years of your career are super important. Bro. 
Do you know what I mean? That, that, that's, that's the part of your career where you, you build up your fitness levels, you toughen up. You're now playing against men week in, week out, not playing in the reserves against kids. Mm. Yeah, you're actually going right. in against proper tough hard blokes that are going to stick it on you. Yeah, and, mm. and that's when you toughen up. And for the fair play to Bukayo Saka, because for somebody who's small, looks skinny, yeah, that guy is tough as an ox, mate. Yeah, but like, he's solid, though. He Saka is solid, bruv. Like, mm. You know what I'm saying? That, that's just what it is, man. Bro, and that guy playing week in, week out has improved. Game. Yep, and it's improved him tenfold because he's playing every week. He's training with top players mm. and he's building up the experience, man. Like, do you know what I mean? The hard drive just keeps updating every time you play when you're that age. Yep. Do you know what I'm saying? And, <laughs> and that's what it is. And Smith Rowe hasn't had the same updates because he hasn't been playing. So even though I think he's more talented, like on the ball, it's like it doesn't mean anything, bro. No, so they both broke into the team about the same time as well. Yeah, yeah, and, and one of them's gone on levels, and one of them's always injured. Like Saka's yeah. played 157 games for Arsenal. That's mad. 157 games in what three, two and a half seasons. Whew. Yeah, that's actually insane. How many Smith Rowe played? Mm. Well, look, see how many he's played for Arsenal. 157 with Saka. And Smith Rowe has played 88. So he's doubled his games. See what I'm saying? And that's just from availability because they must be mm. at the same time. Yeah. Yeah. It was about the same time they come into the team. Yeah. It was, um, I think Saka was under Emery. And I think Smith Rowe, I think he was on loan. I may be wrong, but I'm sure he was at Leipzig. But then he came back and then I think Arteta put him in the team. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it was Emery. I don't know. The chat may know. I can't remember. It was roughly the same time, within a couple of months of each other anyway. Yeah, and one of them has gone flying, whoosh, gone scoring, assisting, creating, making an impact in every game. And one mm -hmm. of them is just sitting on the injury table every week. It's mad. Yeah, right. it's not and the thing is, this guy, like you said about injury, um, groin injury, three months. Bro, he's now had groin surgery that's kept him out all season pretty much. Fuck like, what's wrong with his fucking groin? <laughs> that's what I mean. That's crazy, isn't it? I've never known really anyone true. to have surgery on the groin. Like I've heard people have had hernias before there. You can get hernias there, but like I don't know, like groin surgery, like mm. that, like three months out with a groin, bruv. Listen, I think everyone that's played football's pulled their groin blood, and that's a two-week thing. Like, do you know what I'm saying? Three weeks max, and you're back. Do you know? What I mean? I've never heard of no three-month groin, like. Like, what is it? What is that? Crazy. There we go. Do you Smith know what I'm Rowe, saying? Smith Rowe came in against Chelsea two years ago. Big up, Lewis. Yeah. So it was two, it's okay. been two years. He's missed all them games, like all, all that time. He's missed, I mean, well, he's been out most of the season, bro. Yeah, he came he came in against you lot and um, and in the warm down after the game at Old Trafford. Yeah, he'd done, his, he'd done an injury and then he's had surgery. Then he came back the other day and came on for five, 10 minutes. Now he's injured again. Mm. In, in the squad tonight. He's not travelled to Manchester. Yeah. Like, come on, man! This, this guy, man, I like him. I think he's talented. But how long do you keep? How do you look? How, how long do you keep going with this guy? Yeah, he's he's class, man. I, th mm. I think he's a class player. But I don't know. I'd probably get rid of him if I was Arsenal. I don't think he's. Yeah. I don't think he's getting in over the two lads we got there. Martinelli. And, he's not. And, he's not. Getting but not only is he not getting in, but because I've seen his weight balloon up and down and stuff like that, that already tells me that he he already ain't ain't got discipline. And the thing is, yeah. Like if a player's getting loads of injuries and I see that they can't even keep themselves, that can't keep themselves physically fit anyway, like I wouldn't have much faith in them turning them injuries around, bro, because it shows that they're not they're not disciplined and they're not working that hard. Do you mm. know what I'm saying? Because if you've got injury problems, it means that you have to do a lot of conditioning, you have to do a lot of extra things, bro. And if you can't even stop yourself from fucking eating, you're not gonna be in the gym. <laughs> Thanks. You know like that. Thanks, you're bro. not. You're not going to be in the gym, bro. Like I'll be real. Like you're not. If you ain't got the discipline, yeah. Do you know what I mean? To stay away from the fucking from the chip shop, you're absolutely not going to have the discipline to be going and doing these boring exercises with the resistance bands and the fucking um yeah, and, and the Swiss balls and, well. and all that and shit. Because it's extremely boring. It's boring. It's boring, it's boring at any boring. age. But when you're 22, it's even more boring. <laughs> Bruv, and you could be at home playing PS5, bro. Like, exactly. yeah, go. all the people in the chat saying it's precaution, he's not injured. Well, why is he not in the squad then? Precaution That's for it. what? Because he came on off the bench the other night. 